Good morning. Welcome back into Wake Up America. Happy Friday to you. The FBI yesterday arresting 21-year-old Air National Guardsman Jack Teixeira. The Pentagon calling the intel documents leaker a deliberate criminal act. He'll be in a courtroom this morning in Boston. Joining us now for more, retired Air Force Brigadier General Newsmax contributor Blaine Holt and the former chief of counterintelligence at the Behavioral Analysis Program and retired FBI Special Agent Robin Dreek. Uh, great to have you both on this morning. Happy Friday to you. General, we'll start with you. Um, how did the media, first the Washington Post, then the New York Times, beat the Pentagon and the FBI in tracking this kid down? So good morning to you both. You know, there's a whole lot to this thing that doesn't make sense, and I doubt we're ever really going to know the truth about what really happened here. Um, it's it's disturbing to me that uh, there's some magical way that the appropriate intelligence got up to him, a National Guardsman, out of the Joint Staff. I don't know if we're ever going to know the answer to that. And And then, you know, how does the Washington Post have the witness in their possession with the video blacked out almost before the uh, arrest even happens. Um, none of this stuff really adds up for me. I do believe that they found the right person who did compromise the intel, and he fits a lot of profiles. Um, but the, the thing that's also troubling about DOJ and the FBI being involved with collaring him is all you're going to hear in Congress when we want transparency is I cannot comment on an existing uh, investigation. But from a national security aspect, this better get rolled up pretty quick, and we better understand how this happened uh, so that we don't see compromises like this, especially as it relates to um, active war environments, which is where the Pentagon needs to be focused right now. Yeah, good point, Rob. And here's the president yesterday. He was in Ireland. He was asked how concerned he is about this leak. Hmm. Are you concerned about okay, the leak? Okay, guys, it's time to go. Let's well, go. Cool, we got to move. I'm not concerned about the leak. I'm concerned that it happened. But there's nothing contemporaneous that I'm aware of that is all great counsel. <laughs> Okay, so he wasn't concerned about the Chinese spy balloon a month ago. He certainly has not been concerned with the Supreme Court leaker over the last year. Should he be concerned about this? Oh, my gosh, yes. Everyone should be concerned about this. And agreeing with the general wholeheartedly, there are so many tendrils that are going to go out in this because this was just one leak investigation. I'm curious about all the other leak investigations that now have come forward because of this. And the other impact that the president and everyone should be concerned with is not just the information that was disclosed in this, but it's also disclosing methods and techniques and protocols that might uncover human sources. And that is really the critical thing here is our human source base is really what gives us all of our great intelligence. And if people are afraid to come forward with information and, and don't want to be recruited and work and cooperate with the United States and our national security, then that's going to have great impacts on us, not just today, but down the road. General, you were in the Air Force. Have you ever been to uh, Joint Base Otis, they call it now? It's Otis Air Force Base. I'm from the same town that it's in. Have you been there? Uh, no, I have not had okay. the good fortune to be there. I've been to Hanscom. Hanscom. Okay, not far. That's up uh, in, in greater Boston. So he was part of the 102nd Intelligence Wing of the Air National Guard on Cape Cod. By the way, get, get off chat rooms. Like, go out fishing. Go to the beach. Go to a bar. Like, get out of these chat rooms. These didn't exist when I was a kid, and I'm glad they didn't. Um, General, how hard, generally, is it to get this stuff off a of base? Oh, that would be very difficult. And you, there's so many protocols, Rob, that have been blown right through here that you'd have to just... It, it none of this really adds up at all. And here, let me tell you what another thing that I I, I watched the witnesses video on the Washington Post um, several times. I have never heard a 16 year old gamer uh, so articulate, so well spoken. Um, sounds like he's got a master's degree right. uh, with media training. And uh, you know, I I really hope that we can shed the light on what really happened here, even if the American people don't get to know about it, because internally we've got to protect America's secrets. Um, but everything from DOJ being an investigator, zipping right past all these investigative agencies that we have, uh, and then, you know, the New York Times and the Washington Post identifying this person yeah. well before um, we're told through official sources. N none of none of this is adding up right now. At yeah, all. It was nice to see the Post and the Times return to actual real reporting, <laughs> wasn't it? Just Maybe. for a brief moment. They're back to their usual stuff today, I'm sure. Um, Robin, in your opinion and, and, and with all your experience, is, is this this 21 year old a real whistleblower or is this just a some kid trying to show off for his friends again in this Discord chat room? 
Robbie hit it right there. And the first thing I, I did this for 22 years with the FBI, and these are the most tragic cases that come about because the first thing that we're always assessing when doing espionage, believe it or not, it's a simple question. Happy people don't commit espionage. And so are you, we're looking at, is this 21-year-old a wound collector and a victim, or does he have a growth mindset? And so we're looking for intent, and we're looking for... Also, we were looking at COVID protocols, you know, what kind of things were going on in this person's life that made them so susceptible? And also 21 years old, prefrontal lobes not fully formed. So their impulse control is way down. Leadership is absent in this person's life. There's a lot going on there. That's an interesting point. Uh, General Holt, Robin Dreek, appreciate you being with us. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.